go in with my Model Model Dreamweaver. Now, this is something from them I actually do like. Now, that synthetic plastic about to burn up, melt on my face hair that I, re <laughs> I reviewed <laughs> previously. That synthetic hair is a mess, but their human hair Dreamweaver is really good. So, this is my leave out right here. Um, I need to cut it some, but I'm going to just... I mean, you don't have to do this because, honestly... You can just take your hair and cover these tracks, but I just like how it looks fuller and better when I add my bonded pieces in. So you guys who watch me already know how I do this step. Um, very simple and it's optional so you don't have to do this if you don't want to. All I do is take a track, basically that's why I sold it right here instead of up here. So I'll have that room to bond the pieces in and you can see the hair goes right back to my hair. So you see how that did that. Um, so all I'm gonna do here is measure this to about here. You don't really need that much. So you see how that is. So I'm going to cut this, and I like to double them. So I double my bonded pieces. Same way I've been doing for years. Measure it, make sure it's right, and then just take another piece and measure it. So same old, same old. So I guess this is an updated um, <laughs> video on it. You can triple them too, depending on what look you're going for. If you know how to blend right, you can quadruple them. I've seen it done before, <laughs> so it's up to you. So I like using 30 second salon. I never had an issue with glue before. So if you have a problem with glue, you can also do these. It's a certain way. I can't explain it, but you can like sew these in. Yeah, it's kind of weird. You sew these in too. So I just take the glue and I just bond them together. To speed up the process, you can take your hot flat iron and just press it down gently. This will melt the glue quicker and it'll stay better. So that's about it. Then we're going to take it. Um, I personally just like bumping the hair before I put it in. Just bump it a little bit. That's it. Take the glue. A napkin this is how I avoid having issues with glue or getting glue stuck in my hair take a napkin or something and just dab it and get the excess glue off so after that I might need to put some more and you see where our scalp is we're gonna apply it right there You take your flat iron, you can press it down. So you see how that is, and it blends right with the hair, girl blends right in and like I said model model is great hair it blends with any type of virgin hair pretty much um I don't know something about it it's just blends really well I've been using it for a long time
blending right there. It's very volumized and everything like that. And this is Filipino hair, so um, next I'm gonna put the final touches. I'm gonna use my Sebastian reshaper on my leave out like that. Flatten it out some. So you can see what that care care did, girl. Yes, I love it. So now we're just gonna take our curling wand. This is by the Cortex 4 in 1. This is the smallest cylinder that comes with it. And we're gonna take this and press it down one time. Just go right across it, and this is gonna get it really flat and blendable. See that? And then 